assalamu alaikum dear aspirants you are welcome to my mentor youtube channel hope you are all fine uh, today in this video i'll be discussing a very very important thing with you is uh, jkpsc prelims is approaching almost 25 days are uh, left tentative date is 10th of uh, november what shall aspirants do during these 25 days how they can increase their uh, accuracy uh, level what are the important things which we need to keep into consideration while preparing during these 25 days see the first important thing that you need to keep in mind is that you don't have to read anything new from here onwards whatever you have read from last one year one and a half year the notes which you have made you just need to revise them so that's the first important thing that you will do please don't touch new books please don't touch new topics whatever you have read revise that revise that again and again and you have to see what are the important areas from which questions have been asked from last couple of years so out of the notes which you have made the books which you have read you don't have to read all again the important areas from which questions have been made from last 10 years so that should be your main focus for instance in polity you have to see uh, article 19 article 21 356 uh, 280 the things which were in uh, uh, which were among the papers from last couple of years the important amendments which have been made which are usually asked in the examinations so those you need to revise again and again important parliamentary committees so you need to revise them you need to see which important committees have been asked in the examinations so those you have to revise thoroughly uh, you need to have a good hold on those areas where questions are usually asked from economy section you need to see the exchange rate appreciation of currency depreciation of currency inflationary gap deflationary gap indian taxation uh real national income so these are the things where questions are usually asked poverty poverty committees uh same is case with geography and uh, indian history so you need to select those important areas from which questions have been asked how you will select that you will go through previous year question papers you will analyze them you will see why the questions have been most of the time asked and you need focus on those areas too much that is the first thing that you will do second thing that you will do my dears during these 25 days is that you will go for mock tests so you have to solve as much questions as you can pick any good institutes uh, test series join their mock tests every sunday sit inside uh, a library and solve gs paper for 2 hours solve c sat paper as if you are giving your real examination so the way cricketers warm up before playing their uh, final exam uh, before playing their uh, finals or semi finals they go for warm up so you too have to do that warm up for your examination it should not be like that you have been preparing from last 2 years directly you will go into your examination hall and start start solving mcqs so your mind is right now in different form in different frame you have to sit inside a library and solve the questions so after solving the questions you will realize these are the areas which i have read but i am not able to solve these questions these are the areas where i have the strength i am getting uh, correct answers from these areas so that will help you to analyze your performance to analyze what are the weaknesses and what are the strengths please go for mock tests as much as you can third important thing that you need to keep in mind is that till uh, yet you were preparing for um, uh, last one year you have been studying 7 hours 8 hours if you can study 10 hours 11 hours during these 25 days it's very important so you should have a good sound sleep for 6 to 7 hours rest of the time give as much time to your studies as you can because these last 20 days help you a lot uh, in your uh, preparation so you can revise more that will increase your accuracy uh, level and uh, other things is that focus on your static portions see the static areas the important areas where questions are usually asked environment and ecology economy section modern history uh, certain areas from medieval history certain areas from ancient history ncrts of uh, geography work on your concepts most of the students just keep revising keep reading current affairs current affairs only so there are certain questions which are asked from current affairs you have to be very much sp- uh, smart where the questions can be framed otherwise most of the time uh, goes with current affairs so there are many aspirants who qualify their prelims be it upsc prelims case prelims because of their static portions so you need to have a very good hold on your static you need to have good conceptual clarity of the concepts that will help you to get that score also don't ignore your c sat paper so go as per your strength work on your c sat paper solve c sat papers from last 10 years uh, jkpsc c sat papers upsc c sat paper see what are your strengths what are your weaknesses and c sat paper if you are very good in english comprehension solve first that section if you are very good in reasoning or uh, aptitude solve that section that will give you uh, a confidence level and that helps you to solve other questions as well so these things you will realize after 
going for the mocks. Please don't ignore mocks. If you don't sit in mocks, that will definitely hamper you in your final examination. And the way it is said that those who lose sweat in their training, they need not lose blood in the battlefield. So you have to lose that sweat during these 25 days so that you can save yourself from any tragedy during your final examination. I hope these points will be quite helpful to all the aspirants, uh, especially to my own students whom I have been teaching economy from last uh, couple of years. I wish you all good luck. I want to see you all uh, writing mans, uh, chasing your dreams. May love bless you all. See you in my next video. Till then, take care. Bye. Allah Hafiz.